since we know that these early colonists say what about sodomy? What is their view? How do they describe it? What is it, Anna? They say it's a sin and what not an identity. And it can, like the sin can grab hold of anyone. Like yes. Is anyone susceptible? Right. It, it, it's, it's not just this, just those people. It's, it's this sin that, you know, that, 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 can, that can take hold. And um, what kind of a sin is it? Is it one of those so-so sins? It's right up there at the top of, of the hit parade. And how do we know it's the, it's the most terrible sin? It's worthy of death. It's worthy of death. Yeah, it is a capital crime. So that's pretty, you know, that, that, that's, pretty, that's pretty clear. With that in mind, you and I know, and we know not just because we think this is true, but we know from letters and diaries and, and other things that are going on, same-sex sexuality is going on. They wouldn't have made this law if it wasn't going on. It's going on, they're, they're literally deaf on it and so forth. Um, how many people are executed in uh, colonial New England? Uh, for on the charge of crime of sodomy. Do you remember? Wasn't it like only two or like a very low number? Two! Two! That's what, uh, that's what Ruff reports. How, how can we understand that? If this society, so here's what I'm driving at. This is why I think history is so important. Because you could say, look, the early colonists are absolutely vehement on same-sex sexuality. They are absolutely against it. They're clear. Their values are clear. It's a death penalty. That's, you know, we've done our research, and that's what, we need to, that's what we need to know. This is why I think it's so important to go the next step. Okay, well, what's really going on in these, in these, in, in, in these communities? So, um, so wouldn't you think that there'd be a lot more? Oh, I was going to answer the question. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Um, because same-sex relations were such a sin focused and an act focused idea it meant that when people raised concerns to the court about someone engaging in that it was you know oh just give me a little bit of time i'm gonna go to god wash these sins away and then i can be back to to this normal that they're proposing of this heterosexuality as opposed to it being identity focused and sort of making an us and them and so i think so few people actually got convicted and were put to death on a capital crime because they could do it away as it just being a slip up, of it just being right. getting taken away by this sin. I think your distinction, the acts versus an identity, is really crucial. What were you going to say? Also in the Richard Garvey reading about legal intervention, it mentioned that they actually have to have two witnesses. Two yeah, eyewitnesses! That was so surprising because it's like, especially in these cases when they're talking about possible assault, it's very unlikely that anybody else is going to have seen it. So it almost seemed like they were working against themselves. Yes, the, the two eyewitnesses, who's gonna commit this crime in front of two eyewitnesses? I mean, you're, you're exactly right. That's a real red flag there. So how, you know, how can we understand that? And you could say, well, okay, on the one hand, this sounds kind of pretty extreme, you know, the, the death penalty. But on the other hand, yeah, this, all of this kind of, kind of undermines it.